Well, record-breaking hospitalizations in L.A. County are pushing ICU capacity to the brink. And CBS 2's Cara Finchdom is live this morning at PIH Health Whittier Hospital with the crises health care workers are dealing with. Cara, good morning. Good morning, DeMarco. We spoke with a man who's been a nurse for about two decades. He said this prolonged pandemic is taking a very real toll on the hospital system. And back in March, we maxed out at about 12 uh, COVID patients at once in our ICU. We're now up to 23, and there are about 110 patients on our medical floors. Andrew Lara is an ICU nurse at Whittier's PIH Hospital. He says about 90% of their COVID ICU patients are intubated on ventilators. He's worried about the stress on ICU nurses and doctors across the Southland, as well as what he tells us are shortages of certain resources. As they become more acutely short of breath, we will put them on a device known as a high flow um, oxygen device. And that gives them 100% oxygen, but at a high rate of speed to force that oxygen down into their lungs. We are out of that. We, we don't have high flow devices because we've exceeded that capacity. In a grim development, a hospital spokesperson confirms a portable morgue has been set up as part of their surge protocol, but stresses there is still room in the hospital morgue right now, and the trailer is not being used. Laura says his heart goes out to all the families who've lost loved ones. He says he's had to learn how to deal with death on an unprecedented scale. We hear the Zoom calls. We hear the pleas for help. We see the desperation and anxiety and our patients are just scared. Laura was also recently elected to the city council for Pico Rivera. Part of the reason he ran to raise awareness about changes he believes are needed to better prepare communities for public health emergencies. And Laura says hospitals in a very dark place right now, but those vaccines represent hope. He will be vaccinated, he says, later on this week, and he plans to be part of a public education effort to get out the word about the risks versus the benefits of being vaccinated against this virus.